Hello, and welcome to 100 Yards of Football Sports Talk Radio. I'm the producer, Jeremiah Long, and joining me is Logan Landers, our host. How's it going, Logan? Man, I'm doing great, Jeremiah. The birds are chirping, sun shining bright. I'm doing awesome. Absolutely. And it's a great day to talk about football, of course. Today, we have our Legends video, and a real legend we are talking about today, the man himself, Kenny Stabler, former quarterback for Alabama. So, man, this guy... He's a great. He's one of the legends. What's one of the first things that really came to your mind and why you feel like this is a great guy to cover? Man, you know, growing up, I always just saw uh, videos of Stabler on the field for the Raiders mostly. And, man, he's just a gunslinger. I've always loved just his style of play. He's always had a great personality. If you ever looked up anything on him, he's got a heck of a personality on and off the field and just a great football legend for sure. Absolutely. Well, we're going to get into a little more about Kenny Stabler. Before we really get started, though, I just wanted to mention a little something that we uh, noticed when we were doing our research on Kenny Stabler. So Mr. Stabler, you know, he's passed on um, on July the 8th of 2015. But we just wanted to shout out um, because another member of our great football team here is Bobby Butler, who was a Florida State great. And Mr. Uh, Butler actually played against uh, Kenny Stabler um, sometime between 1982 and 1984. And so um, during that time um, when Bobby was playing against him, he actually, Bobby actually had two interceptions against Kenny, the snake stabler and his son, um, Bobby's son, Bryce Butler um, also shouted him out just as, uh, as he passed. And on Twitter, we simply found that he said, rip Kenny stabler. He's the reason I picked number 12 as a young player and loved it ever since honor to be able to put that 12 on my back. So we just wanted to give another shout out there because that's a very personal thing for us here at the team. And we just wanted to make sure that we highlighted that. So from here, I want to turn this over to Mr. Logan Landers and let him tell us a little bit more about Mr. Kenny. Man, let's talk about the legend in Ken Stabler, of course, you know, what more could be said about him? We know he's a, a great quarterback, number 12, played at Alabama from 1965 through 1967. I see at number 12 rep in there. Uh, some stats I found for his Alabama. He only he threw for 2196 yards with 18 touchdowns. In 1966, uh, he had a, he him and the team went undefeated. They went 11 and 0. And you know, when you talk about Ken Stabler, you can't not talk about all of the memorable moments that he's had both in college and we'll talk a little bit more about his, you know, amazing moments in the NFL as well. But the first one, you know, that a lot of people remember about him is the run in the mud that he had against Auburn in the 1967 Iron Bowl. You no, know, if you've ever seen any footage on that game, you know, it was just absolutely a down downpour. You know, it was just a dirty field, mud everywhere. You know, anyone hardly anyone could get any traction from their cleats, but man, Ken Stabler was able to, you know, pick, dodge and weave through a bunch of defenders and um, get a touchdown for the Crimson Tide, and they won that game. Uh, seven to three in a very low scoring affair. Um, but that's, you know, one of the first moments that he's had that really, you know, in a lot of people's minds stuck out to him for sure. It's one of the best college football moments in Alabama history, as well as college football history. And, you know, on the next slide, we got him, you know, going into the NFL, in the NFL, you know, he was drafted to the Oakland Raiders back in 1968. And he's had, you know, some good seasons there. That's where he's mostly remembered for playing. Um, he won the 1974 NFL MVP. He's also a four-time Pro Bowler, and he made the NFL 1970s All-Decade team for his play. Um, they won Super Bowl XI against the Minnesota Vikings, which I'm sure a lot of you guys remember. It's the Purple People Eaters Vikings with that amazing defense. Uh, but the Raiders were able to go in there and, you know, get the win. Um, also, like I said, we talk about Ken Stavely. You can't talk about the moments that he's had. The ghost to the post, which, you know, if you've ever seen any football history, you've seen that play that stayed through to uh, Dave Casper in the 1977 AFC Divisional game versus the Baltimore Colts at the time. It was just It's a legendary play that everyone's seen. If you've ever seen any kind of NFL football in the past, it is a beautiful play. And, you know, Stabler and uh, Casper really hooked up. That was one of his favorite targets, along with Fred Blitnikoff and so many others. And, you know, Ken Stabler inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2016. Um, and just some of his career stats, he threw for 27,938 yards with 194 total touchdowns and, you know, just an absolute legend on the field. And he's played for the Oakland Raiders from 
1979. Then he went over to the Houston Oilers from 1980 to 1981. And then with the Saints, finally, through 1982 to 1984. But all in all, you know, Ken Stabler is a legendary quarterback, one of the top left-handed quarterbacks of all time, in my opinion, and just an absolute legend in football. And, you know, if you haven't seen any footage on this man, please, please go look him up. You know, watch all of his, you know, especially all the memorable games for sure. He's had some great moments and just an absolute legend in the sport. Absolutely. I could not agree with you more. I didn't realize he, uh, he was left. I was I, something I knew, especially when I really think about it, but me being left-handed too, that really even like puts it in even further, man. Like what a great, what a great legend. And what a, you know, what an interesting playmaker. Um, oh yeah. I'll tell you this. We have here at 100 yards of football because we are very centric to the players, very centric to the coaches, very centric to the, the systems. So we know that we have a lot of former NFL and former college greats that watch our show here. So any of you guys that are watching, what are your best memories of playing against Ken Stabler? Because we know that, that we have you guys out there. So please, in the comments, tell us what was your favorite moment playing against Ken Stabler. Or if you're just a great fan, what are your favorite moments from watching Ken Stabler? We want to hear all about it in our comments. And what we'll do is if we have any great comments like that, we'll shout that out here in the next few weeks. So for 100 Yards of Football Sports Talk Radio, I am the booster Jeremiah Long, always joined here with Logan Landers. Every week we come to you, including our great team of host Vincent, Mr. Football Turner, a complete encyclopedia of football knowledge. You think you learned a lot about Kenny Stabler from us. Just uh, what you heard from Vincent Turner. Also, the 1981 first-round draft pick to the Atlanta Falcons, Mr. Bobby Butler joins us every week. Another guy who he played against uh, Ken Stabler, and so I'm sure he's got some great memories. And our coaching expert, Kevin the Bull Jones. So join us every week as we bring you more history videos, more topical videos, and then we just talk football here. And we keep it stats. We love the stats. So if there's anything else you'd like us to see or like us to cover, please just let us know. you have any final thoughts on Mr. Ken Stabler? Man, you know, I've always loved Ken Stabler. He's one of my favorite quarterbacks, you know, of all time, in my opinion. One of my dad's favorite quarterbacks of all time. So, you know, just a dynamite player, and, you know, great career. Awesome. Yeah. Same here. Like, uh, it's one of the players, like, in, when you go to YouTube, you just, just look up his, his uh, plays. It's great. You know, as, you know, as slightly younger, you know, a little before our generation, people, is, that's a, a lot of ways that we've seen a lot of these plays. But you just can't deny the greatness. You cannot deny the highlights. And you cannot deny the character of this guy, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, please come with us and join us every week as we keep going. And we are 100 Yards of Football. And we'll see you a little later in this week. See you guys. See you.